All right, guys, I'm gonna walk you through the number one reason why contractors fail to properly market themselves. This is exactly what we teach all of our clients to do, and when they do it right, it works like gangbusters. So check it out. It's actually way simpler than you think it is. Here we go. What's up, everyone? Logan Schinholster here, Contractor Growth Network. Why do I have these in my hand? I wanna talk about one of the most underrated aspects of marketing when it comes to running your contractor business. So these are Yeti mugs. What we do with these is whenever we build somebody one of these new EPP website sales tools, we also send these out to everybody with their logo and their name on it. I wanna walk you through why, because this is super relevant to you, especially if you're a contractor watching this. Now, what happens is we all look at, when it comes to marketing, online and offline as two separate vehicles, two different entities, right? Let's say you're getting a lot of referrals and you're also running Facebook ads and because everybody's coming in from a referral, you say, oh, Facebook ads don't work for me. But what we fail to recognize is that a lot of times these Facebook ads are actually doing a lot of the heavy lifting, a lot of the branding for you. So when somebody says, oh, I've got a guy for that, they go, oh yeah, I've seen their ads so many times. But when you talk to them and say, hey, how'd you hear about me? They say, oh, it's from a referral. So I wanna walk through how that works and why that works because if you're doing just offline or you're doing just online, you're actually missing a lot of the boat. So let's first break down how somebody buys today. When it comes to contracting, you really have two different sides of the aisle when it comes to the work that you do. You have the 911 services, which are predominantly gonna be things that if somebody's gonna call, uh, pick up the phone and say, hey, I need you out here to help solve my problem right now, that's what we call a 911 service. Those play very well strictly online. Because let's think about it. If you have, um, you know, if your toilet is running. It's a towels. Michael, what did you do? Michael, oh no. You're not going to start to reach out to all your friends and ask for the best referral. You're essentially gonna hop on Google, plumber near me, and you're gonna call the first person and essentially say, I've got this issue, I need you to come out here and help me fix it. So those play very well online. Now, on the other side of it, you've got more of this pleasurable contracting services. And what we're talking about for that is gonna be remodeling, outdoor living, landscaping, painting, things that people do a lot of this price comparison stuff. They think about it a little bit more and that's specifically the industries that need to combine online with offline because here's how it all works. We've got Turner, pan over to Turner. Turner writes blogs for clients and what blogs do is that helps create content to rank them higher in Google but at the same time it also educates our clients' clients. We're so used to doing a bunch of research before ever approaching a salesman that we now are hesitant to reach out to somebody unless we've already educated ourselves. So a lot of these homeowners are reading these blogs that Turner writes for our clients and they're learning more and more and more about the industry and that company specifically. So what they're doing is they're now building rapport and trust with that uh, contracting company but a lot of times we still need a reason as a homeowner, let's put myself back in the homeowner position, we still need a reason to reach out, right? There still needs to be some circumstance where we say, okay, fine, today is the day that I'm going to reach out to that contractor to get an estimate. They may be reading Turner's blogs. They may be seeing the Facebook ads that were running for the contractor. Right? Maybe the contractor decided to put up a billboard. That's all fantastic for education, trust building, and branding. But a lot of times you need a catalyst that will get that person, that homeowner, to actually schedule the call. And that's where offline comes in. Let's say you're a homeowner and you're living, you know, you're in a neighborhood and you've been reading these blogs that Turner's been writing over and over and over, and you're getting more and more into one of our clients' worlds, well, guess what? Let's say our client is up the road from you and they put a yard sign, and you see that they're right there, that's when they're gonna go, you know what, they're already here, let me reach out to get an estimate. And because they've been following along with all the stuff that you're doing online, they already know your value. They already know your pricing, they already know your process, and now when they realize that, wow, you're actually in their neighborhood, or they see you drive by on that truck, 
it creates that human to human connection even more. And that is the catalyst to get a homeowner over the edge. All right. That's why everybody still says, oh, referrals are big. This does everything for us. That's totally true. However, that is really just a small piece. And that's typically the igniter to get them to finally reach out. You need all these other branding things that are doing the back end work over and over and over. And then once all that does its stuff, and then you have this catalyst step in, boom, it's game on. They reach out and now it's up to you to make the sale. And if they, if you've been doing the right stuff and the stuff that we're teaching, it should be a no brainer because they know so much about you. They love you and they're ready to work with you. They just needed an excuse quote unquote to call you. So how does that play in with these? Yetis is because everything that we do is online. However, when we build somebody, a, a, you know, one of these EPP websites, when we get them this, we don't put our own logo on it. We don't put our own information on it. We put their information on it. Get a close up of that. You see that? You see that? Guess what people love? They love their own name. They love their own company. They don't, they don't care about my company name. They don't care about my last name. But if I get them this, well, guess what? They're going to use this every day because it has their own branding on it. And every time they pick it up, they're going to think, where did I get this from? Oh, yeah, I got this from CGN. So now what we're doing is we're always top of mind. We're literally part of these contractors' habits every single day because we're staying in front of them. All right, so if you want to start to put this stuff together, make sure you head over to our Facebook group, Common Sense Contracting. Get immersed into this world because it will completely change your life and your business. See you over there.